Welcome back, guys. It's your boy, Vaping with Tough Luck. Welcome back to another video, episode, whatever. Uh, I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm going to make this into like a little mini vlog. We're going to talk about some stuff. We're going to review an e-juice and a box mod that was sent to me for the purpose of this review. And I want to talk to you about some stuff. So we're going to start off with this FDA shit, man. The only thing I want to say about it is because there's enough articles and people talking about it, enough panic, enough people that know what to do, enough people that don't know what to do, enough people that don't even know what this is or means for vaping. Um, and there's enough information out there to find out what you should do. What I suggest and highly recommend is don't panic. Don't be flooding groups and stuff on Facebook with petitions that don't do nothing um, and stuff like that. All I suggest you guys to do right now is go to kasad.org, send a letter to your representatives, um, blow up their phone lines, have your friends and family do it, share to them what vaping means to you, what it has allowed you to do, how much it means to you, and what would happen if the FDA and government got their way with what they're planning on doing. Um, it's just a way for them to fill their pockets with money and get big, big tobacco back in control. Ever since vaping took off, um, big Tobacco has lost lots and lots of money. I'm talking millions, maybe even billions. The vaping industry has grown so big, so fast that the government wants to regulate it. And which I do agree with certain aspect, ex, uh, aspects of it. Like the warning labels, childproof uh, caps on e-juice, to keep kids away from it, the ID checks at vape shops, which all that stuff is already in place. It's just not regulated. So now with the regulations on that, I understand but things were like saying this is going to be considered big tobacco, a fucking screwdriver, and let's say a Sony VTC4 18650 battery is going to be considered uh, big tobacco. Come on, get the fuck out of here with that shit. But there ain't nothing we can do. And y'all like that little box mod shot I just did? Yeah, we're going to be checking this bad boy out. This that Ninja box mod, dual 18650 series box mod. And this bitch, whoo, hits like a motherfucking truck. But, before I get into any of that shit, um, go to kasai.org, donate money if you can, I don't care if it's only a 50 cents, a dollar, five dollars, five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, because right now we need everything, all the money, all the help, and all the support that we can get right now to help overcome this situation, and don't panic, because like I said, the best thing that we can do right now is to follow along and watch these articles on kasai.org and not blowing smoke, the vaping militia, myvaporium.net, is where you're going to find the legit uh, information. You can also watch people like um, Matt from Suck My Mod on YouTube. He's also very dedicated into this advocacy situation. You can also watch Phil Pissardo. He's going to be sharing videos and vlogs and stuff like that about this, which is going to be to the extent of it broken down. This FDA demon regs is over 500 pages long. Me and anybody else, the average vapor, is not going to understand everything or what it actually means in the long run. So this is what we're going to have to do. So do that. Take a second. Pause this video. Jump over to kasai.org. Register if you haven't already. It takes two minutes of your time to send an email. They'll email you back with automated response with all your representative numbers and so forth. Blow up their phone lines. Let them know that your vote matters and that your vote is going to be on the side that is going to make this go in the right way for history and ask them what side do they want to be on in history when people look back and say that guy was against it or this guy for it it's going to hurt it's going to mean more to them than just saying this saved my life so share that information with them but enough of that it's enough of that going around i don't want to be depressed i want to enjoy vaping let's enjoy it and let's jump right into this motherfucking review all right guys welcome back so what we're going to start off is I got this ser uh, series dual 18650 box mod in a couple days ago. Matter of fact, it's actually been a week or so ago. And I just want to share this with you. This thing is a beauty. It's simple because that's how I wanted it to do it for the review and so forth. Didn't want anything complex. They do all that extra stuff. Powder coating, CNC engraving, laser etching, all that great stuff. I just wanted the simple box, a nice finish on it. So if I drop this bitch or whatever like that, I wanted one I can use every day out of the house, work, whatever. And it can handle it and not mess it up. So that's what I got. And now they offer a few different options. And I will be reviewing them all. Um, they have a LiPo. They have a PWM. They have a dual 
um, series. They have a parallel. They have a couple different options. They have even ones with DNA boards. They're even coming out with one that's going to be a DNA 75 board. So stay tuned. Um, I will have a video dedicated just to them and their products. But I just wanted to share this and figure this little mini vlog thing would be cool. So how we're going to start this one off is here it is. Just to give you all a little quick look of it. I got it in pearl diamond white. Yeah, look at that Metech, nice clicky button, nice little old style fire button for the voltmeter right here. It's got a really nice finish on it. I tried dropping this on concrete, didn't mess it up. Um, and they do have two different styles of back, so you can choose if you want the magnet shown or not shown, stuff like that. It has a nice Fat Daddy Vapes 510, not one of them cheapo 510s that suck. Um, they do offer this in... Um, parallel or series for their dual 18650 this is their smallest box mod it does come with any color option they want they have over 50 colors this is sent to me by the vaping ninjas and the ninja mods um, with for real vape XYZ so these guys are pretty cool they go into detail they care about what they're doing and this box right here in parallel is only $69.99 with one free laser or CNC engraving and series is $99.99 um, shipped to you with one engraving any color from their color options now here's the insides of the series box this thing is beautiful and if you can notice I will show you this on the detail review this is just a quick look but uh, it's all copper contacts down here at the bottom to make this thing hit like a motherfucking truck copper contacts coming out to the 510 really nice wiring another thing that I like they do which is kind of hard to tell underneath this is actually a material and padding to protect it all um, that's also like the same material as the battery sled which is like the see-through is also aligned under the whole bottom to make sure thing everything is done well they do all the machine work um, and everything like this usually this size ham and G boxes you don't see voltmeters in but they were able to cut everything out make sure everything fits well they use quality material like that MyTech switch. They don't use them cheap buttons. Um, very nice battery sleds. They trim them all out professionally themselves. Make sure they all fit in here smoothly. All very nice contacts in here. Very nice welding. Everything is connected and protected. They also, what I love right here, is they have an on and off switch for their box. So you can place this in your pocket and turn it off and don't have to worry about it firing on you like that. Um, let me pop some batteries in here and just show you guys then I'm gonna jump down We're gonna throw a build on here, and I'm gonna show you how she motherfucking vapes But just to show you something um, It does have a voltmeter to let you check your battery voltage currently these batteries are rated at 8.14 8.14 volts um, Your fire button nice and clicky Very sweet this is next this is next to an RX 200 Very sweet guys. So that's all I wanted to do. Just a quick look on this little box mod. I'll have some links down to show you their Instagram, get in contact with them and so on. But stay tuned. I will have a detailed review coming of their LiPo boxes, their PWM, their DNA 200, their Parallel and their Series in dual or triple formats. So stay tuned. You guys will want to check these little bad motherfuckers out. And they're affordable. They're not too expensive. So and they're all American made and done with quality control they're tested before they're shipped you get them custom badass but let's jump right into building that motherfucking coil so we can vape on this motherfucker you dig let's do it Feeling bright. All right, guys. So we're back up top. I just showed y'all my little quick little build video. We've already won in the detail on the Ninja Box Mod Dual Series Box Mod. 
beauty. You guys see me some chucking some clouds with these Clapton's on the original version one Twisted Messes on the Ninja Mods Dual 18650 series box mod. We already went down low, check that out. I did a little speed video of my build, nothing special. Now we're about to go into the second part of this video. The juice review, the reason why we did some fresh coils, some fresh cotton bacon V2. Or actually, sorry, I used regular Japanese organic cotton pads. And now we're about to check out this Frosted Vapes Reserve um, from Victorium Vapes, which I'll share you guys the information, go over the description and so forth. But before we get into that, let's just see how she vapes on this motherfucking Ninja Mods box mod. Whoa, this bitch is hitting like a motherfucking truck, boy. And I got unregulated box mods. Here's a triple 18650 PWM box mod by BJ Box Mods. And I must say, this little fucker right here, she hitting like a motherfucking truck. And these fucking Clapton coils, mmm. Alright guys, so, nice box, banging ass box, we'll go over some of that shit later on, but let's jump right into this motherfucking juice review. So I'm gonna jump over here to the computer and let y'all know about it. You can find this on uh, victoriumvapor.com, that is who makes this lovely e-juice. They do have a couple flavors, which I will go over some of their other flavors in this video, and then I also have them, so we'll be ch checking out reviews from them. Later this week, maybe next week, I'll put them up at different times. But Frosted Vapes Reserve is their second one to their original Frosted Vapes. Um, the original Frosted Vapes was just basically your Frosted Flakes cereal with milk. Um, and then the Frosted, Frosted Vapes Reserve was their second edition, their upgrade, which the description on this is... A lot of juices are redone to add a little something to switch up the flavor. Well, this is exactly what we did with the Frosted Vapes Reserve. Frosted Flakes in milk topped with fresh strawberries and sugar. Heaven in a motherfucking bowl. Ya dig? So, a little more information about this. Um, basically, it comes in all different sizes, which we'll go over that after we do the taste tests. Whatever, you know how it is. I've had this now for about... Four days, so it's been sitting for four days until I did this review. I have just tasted it, but I'm actually going to go into detail now on this Ninja Mods box mod. Um, full batteries with some Samsung, or actually Sony VTC4s are in here. I'm going to wick her up. She's ready to go. As you see, it ain't no more cotton taste. This cotton's broken in now with them nice pools I was doing. But let's have a smell test right out the motherfucking bottle. Mm. I could smell the strawberries right off the jump. A nice sweet tasting. It's not It's not like it don't you can taste it, but it don't seem like it has a lot of sweeteners. Um on the bottle, it does say this is a 3MG and their VG PG, PG ratio is unlike any other juice I've tried. This is 76% VG, 24% PG. I would agree with that. I mean, it's kind of nice and thick in there. Nice yellow tinge color to it. Nice label. Got a childproof glass stripper top. Nice little unique label. They didn't just steal the regular logos like some companies do. They added a little twist of their own. A little vaping tiger. Um, and it's not their original Tony the Tiger. It's got their name, Victorium Vapes, Frosted Vapes Reserve. It's got your California uh, 56 warning or whatever. They'll keep away from children and pets. Um, contain May contain nicotine. Very easy. I like the uniqueness of it, the matchy-matchy color of it. So let's jump right into the steam test. Whoa! Look at that motherfucker. Wow! These motherfucking coils are angry, motherfucker. Let me have a drink and we're going to jump right in this shit. 
I'm excited now that this cotton's broken in, you dig? <laughs> Alright, so y'all just seen that shit. These fucking cottons. I mean, these fucking coils are angry. Fucking them ninja clattons. Woo! Badass. We'll go over some of that shit later on, too. I got a nice... I got a couple videos coming to show you guys a wide variety of some products. So stay tuned for that shit. Um... Steam test, I mean, you could smell more of a creaminess and a strawberryness. That's what I smell off of just the steam and the vapor in the air. It's a subtle strawberry with a creaminess, milkiness smell, I guess you could say. Um, let's jump right into it. Let's see how she motherfucking vapes. Let's throw on some motherfucking cloud tune for this shit. Alright guys, so right off the jump, the inhale has got a nice strawberry taste, um, very subtle, but it's just enough. I mean, I've had some strawberry juices lately, like I got this legit over here, which is strawberry graham, I got some strawberry milk, some strawberries and cream, and some of them are either not enough, too much, candy tasting, artificial tasting, and then you have ones that are the perfect amount. That's what this is. On the inhale, I'm getting the perfect amount of strawberries. A nice, creamy, sugary strawberry. Very nice. Um, and then, as it's in my mouth, like the vapors, like, going, like, as I'm inhaling it, you then get that nice cooling, um, milk creaminess taste. And then, on the exhale, I get more of the frosted flakes cereal taste, a more sugary taste, which is a little bland. It's there, but it's very, very low. Um, I'm going to fill it up in an RTA, lower wattage, and see how it is inside there to see if it's any different. But on this, at a .30 ohm uh, fuse clapped and built on a series box, full power, a lot of, lot of power to this motherfucker. I mean, currently it's 8.14 volts. Um, great flavor. Now, it's more of like a creamy, sugary strawberry on the inhale, and then the exhale, it's more of that milky, creaminess cereal with like a hint of strawberries. So, they did a good job. Now, being that it's a Frosted Flakes cereal with milk, with strawberries on top, I think the strawberries are more powering than the cereal tasting of it. Like, the Frosted Flakes is very subtle, which some might like that, some might not. I am a cereal vapor. I like cereal vapes. It's what I originally started with, but lately I've been fading away with all these new complex juices coming out and juices coming out that aren't dedicated to fucking lemons. I hate lemon fucking cereal vapes. When do you ever eat a bowl of cereals and the lemon is the only fucking thing you taste? That don't happen. I can eat Fruity Pebbles and hardly fucking taste a lemon. It's there when you're eating it down, breaking it all up, but yeah, besides that, back onto this. Frosted vapes, the exhale is there, no burning through the nose, it, on a, um, on a throat hit with the nicotine, I'd give it out of five, I'd give it a three, it's in the middle, um, directly 2.53, it's there, you feel it, but it's not, like, super powerful, gonna make you cough, make your throat itch, whatever, but you can feel you're getting your nicotine, for a 3MG, I like that, um, some people think for a 3MG you shouldn't get any throated or something like that. I personally think I still want a little taste of the nicotine, but it don't overpower the juice. It don't make you cough. I can chain vape this, and as I vaped it and kept going, it went away. So that was a good thing. I do like that. Um, so far, I mean, this shit's banging. I do like it. Um, like I said, it hasn't steeped, so that's a plus. I mean, they're ready to go. I can see now over time. Letting it steep, maybe some certain flavors will kick out, but as of right now, it's not a bad little vape. I'm actually really much enjoying this. So, 
Let's go ahead and throw her in a RTA, drop her down to one of the watts, and see how she vapes there. All right. Wow, what a difference. So I got some stainless steel Clapton's in here on the Hercules RTA with the uh, only the two airflow hold deck. Um, I got her at uh, 70 watts in power mode. And I must say, I can taste more of the sugariness, creaminess, frosted flake taste. Um, over the strawberries and then on the exhale I'm getting more of like a strawberries and cream that's pretty cool mm. and even on the first vape there wasn't any throat hit so I don't know if maybe just because I was vaping it on a series box mods, high wad, it's on a nice clapped and build. I mean, I vaped that shit fucking dry. And it's good. I must say, I will be vaping the shit out of this. Um, the only thing I wish is that they would have made the cereal pop just a little bit more. Um, it is very subtle, even on this tank. Um, let me click it over to stainless steel temp control, see if that does anything. 150 watts, 550 degrees. Stainless steel fused clappings. Vapor production is there. Being that it's a 76-24 VGPG ratio, vapor production is there. Great clouds. I am loving these stainless steel fused Clapton's. Flavors there, great. Um, in temp control, I'm still tasting more of the strawberry and creaminess taste, and then on the exhale, more of like a sugary, milky taste. So of the cereal part. Anyway, great fucking juice. Let's jump over to the computer. I'm gonna tell you guys where you can get this, what it's available, and how much it costs, and so forth. And all, also, all these links will be in the description. And we'll go ahead and wrap this shit up. You dig? All right. All right, guys. So. Like I said, this is called Frosted Vapes Reserve on VictoriumVapor.com. Um, you can check this out. And shipping, I mean, sorry, the bottle sizes that this juice is available in is a 15 mil, 30 mil, 60 mils, 120, and 240s. Um, I love their prices. Their pricing is awesome. The pricing for a 15 mil at 3MG nicotine is only $6. A 30 mil, $12. A 60 mil, $18. Great prices. Now listen to this. A 120, whoa, hold up, that can't be right. Okay, a 120 is $30. And a 240 milliliters of this shit, which I am tempted to go ahead and pick up, is only $52. I know people that are selling 120s for like $49.99, 40 bucks. I mean, you can get a 60 mil of this shit for 18, which is what people are mostly paying for 30 mils. You can get a 120 for 30, and a 240 mil bottle of juice. That's plenty of fucking juice. If you can vape this flavor all day constantly, grab yourself a 240. It is worth it. $52. I would start with maybe just a 15 or a 30 mil bottle sample. See if you like it. Um, this, like I said, taste is subjective. I might love this juice. You might not. But personally, if you like strawberry flavors, if you like cereal flavors, if you like frosted flakes, if you like strawberries and cream type juices, this is a juice I believe you will love. It is a mixture of both. There is no lemon. Um, the strawberries and cream is there, strawberries and milk, whatever. Um, it does have that more of a sugary pop. I don't feel it's got a lot of sweeteners in this. It is not gunking up my coils or dirtying up my coils or my cotton. My cotton came back completely white and my coils are still nice and colorful. I mean, this shit 
This shit tastes good. Um, as I mentioned earlier on, they do offer other flavors, and their other flavors is a Frosted Vapes, which is the original one of this juice. This is the second one. This this is the second one. The first one actually looks just like this. Besides, it comes in a blue bottle, like a blue top, bluer label, and same prices, everything like that. The description on the original Frosted Vapes is cereal this, cereal that. This cereal flavor hits your taste buds with an aluminum bat. I present you to a Frosted Flakes flavored vape like it's straight out of the goddamn cereal bowl. So that's pretty damn cool. I'm digging that. Their other two flavors is they have an uh, e-juice called Crackle Stones, which is like a Pop Rocks. Um, I'm excited for this one. I do have all four of their flavors, so I will be doing a review on all of them. The description on Crackle Stones is... This flavor is reminiscent of that favorite candy that crackles and pops in your mouth. I wish it would crackle and pop while you vape it, but it but it isn't. The unique flavor enough for this all day vape, huh? Then you also have America Pop, um, which is like that red, white, and blue Rocket Pop ice cream. And this one I am very excited about. I'm going to crack that shit open right after this review, throw on another fresh set of coils, and try this one. Listen to the description on this. Well, I'll tell you what, this here flavor, this here vape flavor tastes exactly like one of them Rocket Pops I used to enjoy when I was a little whippersnapper. All of that cherry, lime, and blue raspberry flavor mixed into one vape, yeah, buddy, you are going to be blown away with this one. So that's what it is, all same prices. Um, great, great company, it shipped pretty fast. I ordered it on like a Monday, it was here on Wednesday morning with my mailman. Shipping wasn't that bad. It based on where you are, calculates the shipping and stuff like that. So check them out, uh, Vaptor VictoriumVapor.com. They do have um, a five mil, a five pack, thirty mil sampler pack, which comes with five different flavors. Um, yeah, I was thinking there was five. There is an actual one, and it's called a Strudel VOTW. Um, so it's five pack, and then they also have a three pack sampler for fifteen dollars. And then the five pack of 30 mils is only 48 bucks. So you get five 30 mils, five 30 mils of all their flavors, all five of them, for only $48. Holy shit, that is awesome. Um, I'm loving these new prices on eJuice we're seeing. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog slash box review slash eJuice review. And stay tuned. I got plenty more shit coming for you guys. You dig? All right, guys. Remember, it ain't about what the hell you're vaping on. As long as you ain't smoking them stankies, that's all that matters. And don't forget, FDA just dropped all these deeming regulations, and it sucks. But don't panic. Go to casal.org, not blowing smoke, and do your part. Call your senators. Do what you got to do to keep vaping here and keep it the way it should be. Not with the fucking government getting their way and their hands in everybody else's pockets and ruining it for everybody. This shit saves lives and helps people quit smoking. This shit that kills them. They want big tobacco to run this shit. Well, we ain't gonna let them. And how we can do that is by going to kasai.org and not blowing smoke, donating, calling your representatives, sending emails, letting your friends know, letting your family know, and doing that shit. Also, you got some free time and wanna join a great community with some dedicated vapors, vape reviewers, uh, e juice makers, box builders. Um, you got people like Battery Mooch, Vape and Fag, and D DJ LSB Vapes, Mikey Motherfucking Vapes. You got Dawn from Adore E Liquids. You got Dirty Devo with them dirty coils. You got Heavy Metal Vapor, Southside Vaporium. All them great guys are there. Come check us out on myvaporium.net. Sign up, and I'll catch you guys there. Hey, My Vaporium can help you find the G spot. Ha! <laughs>